Sports this morning. He is in Amherst, Massachusetts with a first look at the weather for us. Hi, Dave. Hey, Chris. You know what? Yesterday, of course, you mentioned it was all the NCAAs and we were at Davidson College and today we are at Hogwarts or actually Amherst right here founded in 1821 we have a high shot it's a gorgeous campus and we are talking today about the sport of Quidditch. Now over 133 million books are in print in the USA, 400 million sold across the world, and this is a massively popular sport which is now coming to the muggle world or the real world. We're going to talk about that in just a little while. In the meantime, these kids grew up reading this stuff, and now they're going to show us how to play the games we've all only imagined until now. Let's take a look at the maps, right? We're going to play Quidditch today. <laughs> Yeah, well, that's Harry Potter playing Quidditch. And if you think it's just a fantasy game, you'd be wrong. Dave is in Amherst to show us how to play Quidditch muggle style. Dave, good morning. Good morning to you, Harry. It's Quidditch 101. You wonder how you take a fantasy in a book and make it reality. Well, it begins with a creative mind and a terrific student, Alex Benepe, who is the Intercollegiate Quidditch Commissioner. So how did you do this? What did it take and what's going on? Well, my friend Xander Manchel started back our uh, freshman year, but I've expanded to the intercollegiate level because I like to see the teams in their school colors and uh, I like to see people having a great time. How many schools right now? Uh, we're up to 80. And what's your goal? Uh, all of them. There we go. Now we're going to move over to Charlie Hoffman. Now, Charlie, you're a chaser. That's your title. This looks like a volleyball, though. What is it, though? Uh, this is the quaffle. Mm -hmm. Normally in the books, we're going to be flying around, passing this through hoops. Uh, here at Amherst, we run around the ground, and we still try to put it through the, the hoops to score. The hoops right behind us, yep. right? Now, this is Rafael Velez. He's a keeper. Now, this just looks like a house broom, but it's not. Right, well, my job is to, uh, at the same time, stay on the broom and also defend these golden hoops from the ch and opposing chasers who are going to try to put it through that. And again, with an outfit like this one he's wearing, he's an intimidator. Let's move on right now. This is Shannon Engelman. She's a beater, and this is not just a red ball like you play in dodgeball. This is a what? This is a bludger, and my goal is to hit people with this bludger. And in the books, when players get hit, they, they're knocked off their broomstick. So in our game, when players are hit, they have to run back around the, their hoops. To simulate the time it takes to fall from the broomstick yes, and get back exactly. up. And finally, finally, right here, this is the snitch. Now, Mr. Dixon, tell us what the snitch is. Um, in the book, the snitch is a, a little golden ball that flies around, and the two seekers have to catch it to end the game. But since we can't really simulate that, um, instead you have a big, goofy guy like me dressed in yellow, and I have a sock on my butt. Um, and once you catch the sock, um, the game's over. Now, this man is to Quidditch what football is to football. We'll have much more. We're going to play a game, and we're going to tell you all about this incredible sport in just a little while. Wow. In the meantime, though, Maggie, wow. we'll send it down. Harry, what do you think? Uh, we are, we are glued cool. to the TV. We're ready. I know. Yeah. Why yeah. don't stay on that room? And this is a rough-and-tumble sport, too. I'm telling you, don't sit there and say, oh, it's just in a book. It sounds kind of silly. Wait until you see this coming up in a little while. Right. It's magic. Fabulous. <laughs> we'll be right back. We'll You're watching the day. early show on CBS. All right, now. Once again, we're rejoining our friends from Amherst and Middlebury, where you're going to see a live, the first live national broadcast of a Quidditch match in just a few minutes. Now, you say you don't know what Quidditch is. You say, oh, it's just a little sport you read about in a novel. No, this is a combination of dodgeball, soccer, and rugby. It's a full contact sport, and it is not for the faint of heart. Check this out. Now, of course, keep in mind, everyone, you have to play with good equipment to make sure you're competitive, like this Nimbus 2000 broom. It's a top of the line. It's the fastest broom out there. And Alavans.com is actually one of the suppliers to these teams. Now, let's take a check of the weather. And in just a little while, a full report on Quidditch, and you'll see a match live here at Amherst. Potter scarf is a must in the spring. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> so let's go back to our own Harry Potter, Dave Price and Amherst Mass. Hey, Dave. All right, Maggie, right here we are where the 
Quidditch match is set to begin in just moments, but someone's let, someone's let the snitch loose. This is what he does. He taunts, he uses aerobics, he moves around, but you have to, and he has to avoid letting anyone get that black sock that he's carrying right at the small of his back. We'll continue to watch the action in just a moment and give you a preview, but first, let's take a check of the weather here in Amherst, Massachusetts with a silent H. Here we go, everybody. Looks like sloppy weather from the Ohio Valley all the way here through New England. And the deep south looks good, but that's going to change over the next 24 to 48 hours. You could see some heavy rain in a soaker on Sunday. That's a quick look at the national map. Here we are in Amherst, Mass. Here's an early look at what's going on in your area.